This is getting to the point where I'm just gonna have to stop stopping or I'm never gonna get to Oklahoma tonight, which is my original plan. What's up guys, I'm here in Aaron's yard. We're gonna try to night flip something. Or nothing at all. <laughs> the fake snake. snake. There. Dude, that thing is fossilizing, like... look at that. It's a fossil. Is this new stuff? Yeah. Whoa. What is that, just a five line skin? Just a five line. A bunch of creep. I never did get a, whoa, rough earth. <laughs> nice. Snakes. Dude, he's about to come out and crawl around. Look at yeah, that. Your skink's back. I uh, I never found a prairie skink when I was here before. Here we go. All right, next take of the night. Another little rough earth, a little baby one this time. Down a little hole. This stuff's kind of gotten taken over by ants. Oh, rough earth. I forgot how many of those things there are here. A nice little actual gray tree frog, not a copse gray tree frog on the side of Aaron's house. This guy's got some nice green coloration, which we don't really see in the ones in Georgia very often. So that's pretty cool. Good morning from rainy, tornado-y, industrialized, grody Oklahoma. It's, as you can see, kind of nasty today. So we're staying close to Aaron's place, flipping artificial cover, and uh, hoping that the sun comes out at some point. We might can do some road cruising, but first off, flipping. Oh man. Like a shrew. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh. Whoa! <laughs> what? So many mice. Lots of mice. Very kingy looking. Oh, breaking, breaking. Oh no, it's an emery eye. Uh, Dude, I, how is that not a prairie king? <laughs> that was a good piece of tin. Great plains rat, two ring necks. More mice. Oh, big Texas rat, look at that. He's eating them. Nice. He's actually nice. Yeah. He's been munching on rats. Go back under the tin, buddy. Another prairie ring neck. More rats. And a rat in the nest too. Alright. Nobody. Oh, ring neck. Nice. Whoa! There's no snakes to eat them, dude. Oh, ring neck party. Nice. Nice. Get the little boys. Whoa! Nice prairie skink. Broken tail, though. Got a nice orange tail. Nice. My second ever prairie skink. Rough earth and prairie skink in the cold rain. The first snake in this giant board pile. Big ribbon snake, check that thing out. So many ring necks here too. Look at that. A couple of cool looking scorpions. Check those guys out. Aaron just slipped a little blotched water snake deep in shed. That isn't blotched, right? I don't yeah. know what else it would be here. Yeah. Blotched water snake, deep in shed. These are the Western equivalent of the plain bellied water snakes we have in Georgia. It's already moving. Check that out, timber rattlesnake, Oklahoma. That's the best look you're gonna get because we don't wanna mess with this guy, but there's a timber right there. First rattlesnake of the trip. So this rattlesnake is hanging out at a den. You can see right there, 
He's just barely hanging out on this wet, cold day. That's like 62 degrees right now. He's hanging out right at the entrance. He can probably go underground right there and be nice and warm. But uh, first shot will sing the trip, pretty cool. We're just gonna leave that guy right there without messing with him and see what else we can turn up. Rough Earth Snake Party, two little ones. Earth Snake, two Earth Snakes. All right guys, here's a look at the habitat in this next area. A lot of cactus and uh, nice rocks, kind of a uh, little bit more sparse than a lot of the rocky areas. See this rock here won't even flip. So anyways, that's like an Indian paintbrush. We're gonna flip around here and hopefully turn something up. All right. Dang it, dude. All right, guys, Aaron just flipped our second snake at the spot. One was a ring neck, but this guy is a little blind snake. Anyways, plains blind snake, pretty cool. I was hoping to see one of these guys today. Really alien looking, unique snakes. Looks Definitely looks more like a worm than a snake. I see these guys in West Texas pretty frequently. Uh, anyways, we're gonna put them back, keep flipping. We're hoping to see a milk snake out here in this beautiful open, kind of prairie like habitat. But first snake that I've seen, Aaron flipped a ring neck and I didn't get to see it, but first snake I've seen here. Alrighty, let this blind snake go. Ready? Go for it. Blind snake. Nice, nice. Cool and see too. That was cool to get the flip on that guy. Second blind snake of the day. Pretty little pink guy. There's a distant thunder grumble as tornado warnings flare up around us, but blind snake. Maybe he'll go down that hole for us. Yep. Just like the worm snakes back home. Sit right next to their hole under the rock and then go down when you flip them. All right, guys, we have to dip. We are trapped between two tornado strength storms. Um, with about a five mile gap that we have to get into to thread the needle. You see, we just kind of got into that where the rain stopped. I mean, that's gonna be where the tornado's gonna come from. Whoa. Dude, that is gnarly. Look at that, right underneath it. Needless to say, we're gonna be going that way. Yeah, we need to go away from it. Do you think those people are storm chasing or trying to figure out what to do? That's it. Oh, oh my god, dude. Tornado sirens. This is wild. Tornado to our north. Wild, wild, wild. Oh, school zone though, be careful. <laughs> looking north at all the destruction right now. All right, guys, well, since the tornadoes kind of ruined the first part of our day, we're slowly making our way back to Aaron's place and hitting some new areas while we're at it, hoping to see some snakes. Yep. Second species for the day, another ring neck. All right, ready when you are. Oh, man. Nice tunnels under 